upon a time, my mother told me a story about Adam and his two sons, Habil and Habil. Habil was very jealous of Habil, and in a fit of anger, he killed him. After killing, Habil did not know what to do with his brother's dead body. While he was thinking, he saw a crow hole in the ground and hurry another crow. Habil started to think that he even could not think like a crow. He followed the example of a crow and buried his brother. Years later, I realized that this was biomimicry. This story reflects one of the first concepts of, of biomimicry, observing nature and solving problems. One day I went to my son's school to pick him up and I saw him playing with something very, very unusual. It was the sycamore seed pot. If you, if you throw the sycamore seed pot into the air, it goes round and round and round and falls like this. During the autumn season, it looks very awesome and looks very beautiful to see all the seed pots falling down. When I closely observe the seed pot, I started to think that I have seen this design somewhere. It was the design of a ceiling fan. It was a sycamore seed pot which actually inspired the design of a ceiling fan. Very elegant in design, won a number of awards, consumes very less electricity and does not make much noise. Truly, nature has given us a wonderful design. Recently, I went to a pet sanctuary with my children. This pet sanctuary was very unique. In this pet sanctuary, they would give you animals in your hand to touch and feel. And one of them was the snake. The snake had a very smooth skin. But along with the smooth skin, it had a pattern, a very unique pattern. When I closely observed the pattern, the pattern looked very similar to a design which I've seen before. It was a shoe sole. It was a grip of a shoe. This was not only a design, but along with design, it was a function. And the function was to have a very strong grip, especially used by senior citizens so that they don't fall down. This product is so famous and so popular among the elderly because elderly people fall down and they get injured and they also die. Truly, nature has offered a product which is not only having a design, but it's also very safe. During the COVID-19 period, I went to Lalbagh with my entire family. While we were about to leave, something got stuck to our clothes. I was trying to remove, but I was not successful. But I tried hard and at the end I was successful in removing all these seeds. When I was removing all these seeds, I just recollected something that I have been using a similar product for years and years together. And that product was Velcro. It was these seeds which actually inspired the creation of Velcro. This shows nature offered a product which has become a part and parcel of everyday's life. Sometime back, uh, I visited a bird sanctuary and we were observing a lot of birds. But one bird caught my attention and that bird was the woodpecker. The woodpecker was using its beak and hitting the trunk of the tree again and again, again and again, and again and again. I started to wonder doesn't this damage the beak, the skull, or the brain? Later, I got to learn that it has an inbuilt shock observer between 
its beak and the skull which protects any damage to the skull or the brain this idea led to the creation of a helmet which is engineered to observe shock and ensure that no damage is done to the head of the rider truly nature once again has given us a wonderful idea to create a product which is very safe for human beings today is the era of e-commerce is the era of quick commerce whenever we order products which are very delicate or whenever we order products which are made from glass they come with a unique packaging which is properly known as the plastic bubble wrap but when my wife ordered some products online they did not come with a plastic bubble wrap they came up with something very unique which was brown in color and which was made out of paper when i tried to understand what this product was this was actually a paper bubble wrap when i closely observed and pulled the paper i realized that this design was actually copied from the beehive it was the beehive which actually inspired the creation of a paper bubble wrap not only a design not only a product but a eco friendly product this product has become so famous in the last few months that it has already started replacing the plastic bubble wrap nature once again has shown once again has proved that it does not only give you design it does not only give you products but it gives you sustainable products over the years i have been observing nature and trying to understand how nature will help me to become a better person or become a better leader i want to share a few examples the bee the queen bee is the most important bee in the hive it's not important because it controls all the other bees it's not because it is giving orders or it's not because it is the boss it is because it lays eggs and ensure that the hive exists and keeps on growing the queen bee does not work for herself it only works for the other bees to ensure that all are alive and the hive keeps on growing and striving and honey bees keep living the queen bee performs its role with full responsibility what do we learn a leader is one who serves others not the one who demands authority or power the ant is one of the smallest insect on the face of this earth the ant always keeps on smelling other ants in order to ensure that it belongs to the same group it belongs to the same colony every ant knows its role whether it's the worker or the soldier or the queen they don't interfere in the activity of other be other ants they know what their role is and they perform their role accordingly with full discipline as a leader you should know what is your strength what is your weakness you should know your environment and then strategize accordingly the goose they fly in v formation they form a v formation and they fly all the birds they honk they shout they don't honk and shout because of entertainment or because they want to do they actually honk because they want to encourage the birds in front of them to keep flying if anything happens to one bird few other birds also go along stay with that bird till that bird is ready to fly and then again join the group as a leader we need to understand we need to keep on ensuring that people who work with us they keep moving forward motivate them encourage them and try to solve every problem which they face 
the eagle is a bird which has lot of courage it attacks bigger animals like the sheep and the goat whenever there is a storm other birds fly back or hide somewhere but the eagle flies within the storm and uses the wind to fly higher the eagle does not get afraid faces every situation without fear as a leader we will encounter a number of problems issues and situations we should never be afraid and face every situation with courage the fifth species which i want to talk about is the i mean the camel shows us how to survive and be successful with the limited resource which we have the camel is living in the desert where you have scarcity of food water and shade camel stores the fat and uses the fat as energy it also does something very interesting when it drinks water it drinks in a lot of water so that it can live without water for a very long time whenever there is sun it walks very slowly so that less energy is consumed as a leader we will not have all the resources at our disposal at one point of time we will have shortage of resources a good leader is one who does not complain a good leader is one who understands what are the resources available and uses them accordingly and uses them in the most effective manner last but not the least the frog the frog is a animal which lives on land lives on water when the frog is small it lives in the water and it is breathing through its gills when the frog grows and becomes a adult it uses its lungs to breathe the frog is an animal which adopts to every situation at any point of time the frogs live on in ponds lakes forest trees river and many more places the frogs can swim can jump and climb we all are living in a situation living in a what time which is very vulnerable which is very uncertain and which is changing very fast if you want to become a good leader you need to understand the situation in which you are living in and then plan accordingly strategize accordingly and plan your moves so that you be successful my message open your eyes mindfully observe nature find solution to problems make this world a better place to live i'd like to end my talk with a very interesting quote the nature will teach us many lessons if we take the time to visit her classroom thank you very much <clears throat>